Yo, what's up YouTube? I'm here in the garage eh? and um, first things first before we get into the video, I got some fun news. So this t-shirt that you see here that I'm wearing, not only did I create this design, I'll give you a little close up there, Boo! but this is the design that I created for the chopper show that were thrown here in Philadelphia on October 22nd. This bike, that bike, a bunch of other choppers. If you have a chopper, if you live in, around, near, or even nowhere close to Philadelphia, just come on down. Come on, have a good time at the chopper show. It's going to be the American Legion Post 3088. Yes, 308. Shout out to Varials. Other than that, yeah, I got new t shirts and stuff because I'm an artist. And if you don't follow my art page, Follow me on Instagram at Rich P Mifflin. Rich P Mifflin. So yeah, this is the this is the tea that you know is the for the event. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to have the bulk order teas in here in stock in time for the event. So if you want one of these t-shirts, go on to my uh, Instagram, find the link in my bio, and it'll take you right to the store. And these are really nice quality t-shirts. I'm working with a company called Bonfire. They're making sure that everything is done right. So here's the front. Boom, Philadelphia choppers on the back, but that's not all. I got two more here. They sent me some samples. I'm gonna show it to you. Ready for this transition? Check this out, okay? One, two, this is the second one. Um, there's obviously a ton more on my actual web store, but everybody loves the name of the TV show that I cannot name for copyright purposes, but you know it. I collabed on this one with Professor Falcon from the 6ix9ine Speed Boys. Got this on the front, boom, you know it on the back, check it out. And then here's the third one. Woo! Okay, obviously there's way more on my actual store. If you follow my Instagram, then you know that like I make a lot of art. Anyways, we got the classic Philadelphia Choppers slice and dice logo here on the front. And then we got my very own self portrait on the back. That's me, in case you were wondering. But yeah, check out my web store and come to the Chopper Show, baby, boom! Oh yeah. We're gonna have some fun today. All right, so check it out. While I absolutely adore the white bike in the current state that it is in, I uh, I feel like getting my hands into something and, and having some fun. So right here, I have a pair of 12 inch high Vitsy Boys Chrome Cast risers that I will attempt to derobe from this quite intensely wrapped package. So the plan is to uh, get these risers on the bike today, take off all the uh, hand controls, brake lines. I got some uh, new brake equipment right here, but I, um, I have a different idea from what I'm going to put in the actual bars, the risers themselves, but I have to wait in the mail for those ones to come. So for now, I found this old pair of drag bars that I'm just going to chop up, and uh, we're going to roll with these for the time being. So yeah, check it out. I don't have a cutting wheel here, so I will be using this Sawzall. <laughs> done so with these risers here in order to get the bars inside the risers obviously you got to cut them in half but you got to stick a screwdriver in here and kind of get it to shim out so you can stick that into the bar in there so it'll clamp down on nice and good so that's what i'm gonna go ahead and get done now i'm gonna get the bars in first i'm gonna cut them down i like my bars like real narrow obviously so uh, I'm going to get them in there first and then cut them down some more after that. Well, as I am rigging these up, I'm realizing that I actually kind of hate the drag bars. Um, so I'm either going to just have to improvise with this T-bar vision that I have or just wait patiently for the mailman to come at some point in time with them. Okay, just, I mean, just taking the first look at them, oof, <laughs> oh 
Oh, buddy. I love the risers. Absolutely in love with the risers. But I'm going to need to do the T-bar setup with these bad boys because I'm just not feeling these drag bars. But we're having fun. All right. Here she is all buttoned up and out in the wild. As you can tell, it certainly freaking looks wild, dude. I mean, honestly, honestly, it's kind of cool. I'm going to rock with them for now and uh, just have fun with them until the other ones come in. But yeah, this was the fun that I had today, and it certainly was fun. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Okay, here is the second version of what I decided to put in the Chromecast risers, and goodness gracious, wow. I mean, that's a, that's a chopper, baby. Look at those things. Yeah, baby. That's way more like it. Got them narrow style drag bars cut in half. Let's turn it on and see what she's got. 